Hello everyone. In our last video, we have learned how to create tables in HTML. And in that video, I did not use any CSS file to create the document. So today in this video, we will learn about two important attributes that we use with a table tag in HTML. So the two tags that I'm talking about is the cell padding and the cell spacing. So these are the two attributes that we use with the table tag. So what is cell spacing and what is cell padding? So with the help of this diagram, I think it is very much clear. So the space between the content, T-E-X-T, text so this text is the content of the cell the content the distance between the content of the cell and the edge of the cell that means the border of the cell the distance which is left from the border till the content is known as cell padding and the distance from one cell to the other cell. This distance is known as cell spacing. I hope this is clear. We will make use of these two attributes inside our program. Then the concept will be more clear too. So this was the table that we have created in our earlier video. I only have made a change, a change and this change is I am using an attribute called align and the value is entered as center. So my diagram is like this now. Now for this diagram, as we can see, there is a small gap between the cells. From roll number to name, there is a small gap. Again from this roll number to CS08, there is a small gap. So this gap between the roll number and CS08 or to this Steve name. So these gaps are known as cell spacing. The distance between the borders of the cells from one cell to the other cell. Whatever the distance is, that distance is known as cell spacing. And the distance from the content, that means if I consider this particular cell, P, as we can see, before N, there is a space. This space from the border of the cell to the first letter of the content is known as cell padding. Similarly here, from E, the point from where E has finished, from that point, Till the edge, that means the border of the cell, I have one, I have a small distance that is known as cell padding. Now, how do I use it? Just I have to use inside the tag called table. Now, if I write cell spacing, the value can be anything. If I am giving 40, it is just a number that I have to use. And cell padding. Cell padding also supports uh, 30 ml. Let us see what happens. Save and run. See? Now, in this diagram, I think cell spacing and cell padding is much clear to me. The distance from this border to this border, this distance is cell spacing and from this content to this edge, this is cell padding. To all the sides, it is cell padding. So, this is how we can increase and decrease the space among the contents and the cells which are present inside the table. Now if I do not want any gap 
between the cells. Then the value of cell spacing will be 0. Save and back. Now see, this is cell spacing, but the distance from one cell to the other cell is 0. It means there is only one line. There is no space between one cell and the other cell. So I hope this is pretty much clear to all of you. So next, we will learn another term which is most frequently used and that term is hyperlink. Now what is hyperlink? Hyperlink is, we all have, let us learn this with the help of one example. We all have learnt things from Wikipedia. So, I can just show you what a Wikipedia is. So, when I just click on Wikipedia, I have this Wikipedia search space. So, here let me type HTML and let us see what I get. This is the article, the description about HTML. Now, in this document, we see different colors, like some things are written in black and some things are written in blue. Now, what is hyperlink? Hyperlink is we are presently viewing one page. Whenever I click on any of the word which is written in blue and when I move the mouse, see it is highlighted with, it is underlined. So whenever I click on this word, now see I am taken to one another page. I am no longer viewing the page HTML. Now I am looking the page called web server. Another, say if I click on the word client or let us click on the word network. Now see, I am into the page called computer network. So I started with HTML, then I moved to another page and then from that page I am here at computer network. This is hyperlink. It means linking of one page to the other. So there are three types of links present. So first we will learn how to create one link in our HTML document. So in this uh, table which we have already created, so after this table we can insert the link. But I don't want to do that. I just want to save it and I want to close. Closed. I will link, I will create one another uh, document in HTML and that document I want to link it to this page. So for that I have to open notepad. I am opening notepad. Then I will write the basic HTML uh, tags that is head then title. I will close title, close head, then I will start body. Now this body inside this page, I don't want to display anything, but I want to display just one line. This is the first page. After that, I close uh, body, then I close html. I am done with this page. So I will save it. So I will save in the desktop and here I will write hyper.html and save. So 
minimize this this also let us minimize this also and this is the page that i create this is a first page okay now from this page i will create a word and whenever i click on that word i want to move to this page the name of this table uh, page was table if i am not wrong i'm closing it i'm closing this also and my previous page that i created is saved with the name called table and the page which i created just now is saved with the name hyperlink so i will open this page now from this page sorry this will be this is the first page okay now how to create a hyperlink the tag to create a hyperlink is a a stands for anchor after this we will use one attribute h r e f it means hyperlink reference if equal now here what do i write this is important i'll minimize at this point i have to keep in mind which page i want to link from the first page i want to link to the second page so i'll just simply select the file right click i'll go to properties now from properties there is a, a property called location as we can see so from this we will copy this location i'm selecting right click copy the name of the page is table we have to remember the extension we have to remember is .html i will close it i open notepad and here inside inverted commas i will paste then with the slash the name of the page was table dot html done next i'll close the bracket always and always remember anchor that means a is a container tag now after this i have to write the word the word that will be displayed in blue color and the word where we click upon which we click and we will be taken to one another page so let us write the word as click here done after this we will close a so this is it we only have to write this sentence for creating a hyperlink the important point that is to be remembered is this location is to be copied along with the name and the extension this entire value will be written inside inverted commas here we write down the word which we want to display upon where we want to click and we close the anchor tag that is a we will click on file and we will click on save let us minimize and we open the page hyper and see first when we did not create hyperlink this is the first page that is displayed and this is the word that we wrote now when we click here and see we are taken to the next page or the previous page which we had already created in our previous so i hope the cell spacing cell padding and hyperlink is clear we will wait to learn some new things in our next video so till then stay safe thank you